everything is made of something and material science is about understanding how that something works. The material science and engineering undergraduate program is a relatively new course and it's been designed at Leeds specifically to tap into the interdisciplinary strength of Leeds. So if you're coming to study material science and engineering, you've probably got an interest in how materials work. So what you'd like to know is why is a metal strong? Why is a medicine delivered in a liquid or why is a medicine delivered in a solid form? Why do we get electrical properties out of this material and not this material? And how can we use this functional material for an ultrasound device or a memory chip or something like that? And that's why we've designed the course at Leeds to cover engineering, physics, and chemistry and we bring the whole thing together in materials so you can tap into each of those knowledge points. We have a range of projects that might start off in the first year as software-based material selection exercise where you might get given a simple material or a simple design and you choose what materials would meet that design through to the final year where you work with an academic who does research in a particular area and you understand the high end of uh, how you develop new materials or how new materials are being developed for certain applications. So our project work, for example, would start off by teaching you something and making sure you can understand it and use it. Then you think about how you apply it and then you think about how you design something new. And so the way we would support in that process is we'd give you tutorials and examples classes. We would then get you to do an exercise that shows that you understand it. And then finally, we would do some sort of evaluation where you'd actually design and come up with a new idea. And in engineering, we have you working in teams as well. And that's important because your professional life will be working in teams. We will also bring in upper year groups to mentor and teach you um, through some of those processes. And that exchange across years is, is important. The programme's constantly under review. We're a Russell Group University, which means we're research led. So we want to bring in our research so that we're fully up to date with the latest innovations and developments and advanced materials that are being looked at. But also we want to make sure our graduates are skilled and they're job ready. So we talk about medicines, all the way through to renewable technologies. Uh, in the process, we go through biomaterials and we go through high-end structural, high-performance structural materials. Some of that will be housed in the engineering school, but the exciting bit is most of that will now be held in the Bragg Centre for Materials Research, which is a new building that houses a lot of the materials characterization and a lot of the materials processing labs. On the ground floor, has electron microscopes that can go to atomic resolution. It has X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy, has X-ray diffractions. The next floor up has some processing labs. I would choose Leeds on the basis of the course, having this fundamental bridge to the pure physics and the pure chemistry, but then building back up to engineering. And the point of all those skills is they open you up to being much more job ready, much more professional, much more able to go into the job market and have an impact virtually straight away.